Hey folks, Peter Young for Fishing Monthly Magazines is welcome to part two of our testing booth on the PowerPole micro anchor system. So in part one, we saw Steve Morgan take us through a couple of the accessories that are available with the unit, which is the clamp bracket and the lithium battery. Those accessories give you, I guess, the flexibility or allow you the flexibility to use the unit, either move the positioning of it or put it onto somebody else's boat or not have it on the boat um, if you don't need it. I have to say the, that flexibility has convinced me that I'm actually going to leave the unit as it is and not hire, hard wire it to my boat or hard install it to my boat. But I'll, what I do want to do is take you through how that would be done and we'll do that shortly. Okay, so to hard install the PowerPole micro system to your boat, it's a pretty simple process really. And, and the beauty of it is, like with the clamp bracket and with the lithium battery, everything that you need comes with it. Except for, in this case, obviously you need a drill and a drill bit, because you'll need to drill the holes into your transom. So everything provided from Allen key, to the bolts, to washers, to the inline fuse that you'll need to hardwire the system. What you need to do, just take this off here, is the holes that or the uh, screws that we use to hold the clamp bracket in place. You'd obviously remove the clamp bracket, use those as a guide as to where you want to put the holes in your transom. Mark those, drill the holes, and you would use the, the bolts that are provided to attach the system to your transom. So once you've attached the micro power pole system to the transom of your boat, the next thing you'll need is power. And even though I'm using the clamp bracket and the lithium battery, what I've decided to do is actually, as a bit of a backup, attach the power cord and everything to the main battery or the cranking battery of my boat. So if I'm on the water and for whatever reason I do run out of battery, I can just remove the lithium battery, plug this one in and plug it in the right way always helps. And that way I will always have power to my micro power pole system. Once your unit's in place, transporting it is an issue. The one thing I have been asked with the clamp bracket system is, can you put the unit onto your transom before you go out in the water? 100% you can. Once this is clamped in place, uh, it will stay there, no dramas at all, while you're driving to and from the water and, and even long distances. Uh, the one thing I do do though, obviously the power pole itself is eight foot long. I just store this in some rod holders underneath the gunnel of my boat. Once I'm on the water, there's no reason at all why you can't have the pole in place while you're traveling you know, from location to location. I do find a little bit easier though if I am traveling any distance at all that I remove the pole from this and just store it where I normally store it. And that way I just don't have this eight foot pole hanging off the transom of my boat. So while we're talking about getting on the water, I think it's time to go and do that. So the next time you'll see me, is out on the water. Okay, so I've now made my way out onto the water and the one thing about a power pole anchor and a small tinny, the concept of it or the idea behind it is it gives you a lot more flexibility of the areas that you can go and fish and you can do it with the ultimate stealth. So it's never gonna take the place of an electric motor. Um, it's never gonna take the place of a lot of the main components of your boat, but what it can do is in situations like I am right now, allow you to go in to very shallow water. So it's 2.8 feet here. What I've got over on this side here, and, I, and I'll show a cutaway of it is, we've got a foot of water up there. There's a sandbar that comes all the way out here. And basically there's deeper water in behind me. What I've found in these areas here is because the water is so shallow, electric motor noise travels, main motor noise travels. The beauty of the micro power pole is it allows you to come into this area here. You most probably see the, the current line coming in behind me now. And basically you're quiet. So the only noise that you're making is the noise of you in the boat. And it allows you to fish these areas very, very effectively. Ultimately, with the fish not really knowing that you're here. So where the micro power pole really comes into its own is in this situation here. So this is an area that it's about four and a half to five foot deep here. And what it is is just lots of undulation, lots of areas where the fish might sit. 
it's an area where you really want to be fishing 360 around the boat so you power pole down and that's exactly what you do get out of here sitting here quietly you're saving the battery of your electric motor and you can fish the entirety of the boat so quite a few people have been interested when they've seen me out on the water about the power pole and they've asked me a few questions which I thought would be interesting in this video so what depth can you power pole down in ultimately five to five and a half feet is about where it is uh, the pole is eight foot but obviously you've got the transom that it's got to cover and then obviously the swell and the waves and the bits and pieces so obviously in fresh water it most probably hold a little bit deeper but what i found five five and a half feet is about where it's at so battery life is a uh, another thing that a lot of people ask me about and the lithium battery I've been out for two and three days and with normal use because what you remember the pole's not going up and down all the time you're sort of setting yourself up power poling down power poling up off you go fishing so it's not being used constantly I guess is what I'm trying to say so battery life I fished for three days had no issues whatsoever and the beauty of a lithium battery is it's got no um, charging memory so no matter how little or how much you use it charging it isn't an issue so as Steve explained in the video using the power pole is pretty simple um, you can obviously manually put it up and down the simplest and most effective method is to basically use the little toggle thing that you can put around your neck press down twice power pole automatically finds the bottom ensures that it's locked in place and will just hold you there so you don't have to worry about it it does all the work for you same when you put it up double click up power pole will move back up into position and you're ready to move on to your next spot so very very simple to do so you've got the toggle you've got at the top of the unit you've got exactly the same thing as well it's got two buttons that you can do the same and then that also comes with a unit that you can hard or not hard wire but attached to the boat that does exactly the same thing so using it very very simple so there you have it if you're considering a micro power pole system for your small tinny I'd say go ahead and have and check them out I found it great in all of those situations where you love if you enjoy fishing shallow water whether it be flathead brim whiting anchoring yourself up on a point and enjoying the fact that you're very very quiet you've got no motor noise no electric motor noise and if you turn your sounders off not even sound and noise you can really sit up in there fish an area thoroughly thoroughly knowing that the fish most probably don't know you even there as i said at the start of the video while i've gone with the clamp bracket and the lithium battery option um, i haven't hard installed it to the boat I just enjoy the flexibility of the fact that if I'm not going to be in a situation or fishing where I'm going to need the power pole, I don't have to have it on the boat. So there are a great couple of accessories, make the unit even more flexible than it already is, and it's, it's the way I've decided to go. Um, if you want to read more or see more about, I guess, what I've said in this video, what we've done in the previous video, obviously you can check out the other video on our YouTube channel. You can also check out the articles in Fishing Monthly magazine in the, in the November issue and the January issue. So check those out. Obviously, if you want to find more about PowerPole itself, www.powerpole.com.au. It's got a full range of stockists and obviously all of the other accessories and items that PowerPole does. So I hope you've enjoyed this testing booth. Thanks very much for watching. Peter Young signing off for Fishing Monthly magazines. See ya. That's why you use a micro power pole.